Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijutel Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these colorful feather seed beads earrings. I'm showing them step by step and they're easy to make so I'm sure even if you are a beginner you will be able to make them. If you're new here consider subscribing for more absolutely free content like this one. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support and I can't thank you enough for these actions. Check description for full list of materials, other useful resources and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see them. And you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are 5 colors of 11 o seed beads or you could use 10 o seed beads if you want. They are dark blue, white, turquoise, blue purple and pink. You could use others of your choice. These are here earring findings. This is monofilament that is 0 0.00. 6 inches or so 0.15 millimeters. You could use similar size of monofilament or fire line. This is size 11 beading needle. You could use size 12 as well if you want to be easier. And I'm using scissors. And now I'm going to take a little bit more than an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and in my first step I'm going to pick up four beads, a turquoise, a dark, a turquoise and a dark. Okay, and I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my thread. And here what I want to do is to make a knot. And how I make it, I take my tail thread, I make a loop and I go twice through the loop I've made. Okay, this is what I have. And I pull and then I might want to make one more knot. Okay. And now guys, I'm going through one of my turquoise beads. Okay. Just like this. Now I have this cross of four beads and this is also called right angle weave. In my next step, I'm going to take three beads, a dark, a turquoise and a dark. And as I'm exiting out of this turquoise, I'm going back through it just like this with the newly added beads. And I pull and I have two right angle weaves that share one bead in the middle. Okay, two crosses that share one bit. Then I go here in the next turquoise and I need dark turquoise dark. And I go back in circle through this turquoise. Then I go through the following dark. And my goal is to exit through one of the turquoise beads. And then dark turquoise dark. Okay, and until now I repeated this step four times. One, two, three, four. I want to repeat it 14 times, so I want to do 10 more of those little elements. And when I'm ready with the 14 crosses, I'll be back. Okay, guys, and I just did the 14th cross. I repeated this step 14 times and I have 15 turquoise beads and 14 dark beads from each side here 14 and here 14 this is when you know uh, you work correctly up to here and now guys what I want to take are a white bead earring finding and a white bead 
and I'm going back in circle here through this turquoise bead. Then I want to go one more time and reinforce it. Okay, now after I reinforce it, I'm ready for my next step. And for my next step, I want to go through one of those dark beads here at this side. And I'm going to take a purple, a pink, a turquoise and a white. After that, I'm sliding those down just like this. And now what I want to do is to don't go through the white bead, but go through the other three beads and also through the dark one. And then just pull. Okay. Then I need to go through this turquoise again. That is why maybe it's a good idea to use smaller needle and tenol, tenol seed beads if you have. Although I'm doing it with 11 os and with 11 needle, then I'm going out of this uh, dark blue bead and I'm taking the same sequence as here and I'm sliding it down and turn your work always the way it's easier for you. I go like this. Now what I want to do is to reposition my thread I want to exit here in this direction through this turquoise through this middle turquoise I just went through this turquoise and in this direction because my goal is to exit through one of the blue beads here this one and I'm pulling. Then what I do is that I take one dark bead, I slide it down and then I will take the same sequence of four beads from here on. Okay, after the dark bead I take the same sequence and I slide it down. Okay, then I don't go through the white, but I go backwards through all of those beads exiting out of this turquoise. And then I just pull. Okay, I just pull and I have this now. Then I go in this blue bead, the neighbor one. Take just one dark bead, slide it down, and repeat this sequence that you have here. Okay, here it is. And I'm sliding it down. Then I go through all of those beads here. Just like this. Okay. 
then what I need to do is to reposition again my thread by going through this turquoise and sometimes you might need to use pliers here I am Then I go like this. My goal is to reposition my thread to exit of, through one of my uh, dark blue beads but without any thread showing. That is why I'm going around these shapes that I did before and I'm exiting through one of those dark blue beads in this direction. In this step guys I need to take two of those black beads, sorry, dark blue beads, slide it down and then guess what, take the following sequence, here is, here it is and I'm sliding those down and then I go through all of those beads in this direction, through all of them and pull and go through the turquoise then here I go again through the neighbor dark blue bead and in the same direction in this direction And I'm sure you could guess what I'm taking. I'm taking two dark beads, sliding those down, picking up the familiar sequence of four beads, sliding it down, and going backwards like this. Okay guys and now I think you got the idea of what we are doing here. Each row we increase the number of dark beads that we add before this sequence with one and we want to reach seven dark beads plus this sequence in this direction and I'll do this off camera because it is all the same. Just here we have two plus this sequence then three plus this sequence four plus this sequence five six seven plus this sequence and when I have seven plus this sequence I will be back to show you what's coming up next okay guys and when I continue this absolutely the same way here I am where I have seven dark beads before this familiar sequence at the end and it looks like I have eight but this is because there is one here in the central in the central part you see and that is why it looks like I have eight but I just added seven and now I'm doing absolutely the same thing going back through those beads pulling and I'm turning my work in this direction now I'm exiting here after this blue bead and what I want to do is to reposition again my thread the same way going here through this turquoise and then through this one okay now here guys what we need to do is start decreasing these beads that we add before the sequence now I'm going to take six and this sequence then five and this sequence then four three two 
one and I'll be back. Okay, I'll just show you the part with the six. Okay, now I take six, slide all of those down. Then the familiar sequence, slide it down as well. Okay, and as I said, continue decreasing the beats in each row, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, until you reach here, the end. Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and when I continued adding less and less beats, now I'm here at the step where I add one dark beat plus the colorful familiar sequence. And I added it from this side here at the last uh, blue, dark blue bead from this side. And now I'm going to add it at the last dark blue bead from that side. Okay. Now this is what I have. And I do the familiar steps. Just go back like this. Then I will turn it because I want a reposition. I want to exit here now, guys, of my last turquoise bit, and I'm going to take one dark bead and this sequence again. I'm sliding those down like this. Then I go back through all of those beads, but I'm not going through the last dark bead. Okay. I'm not going first through the white and then through the last dark and I'm going only through these three in the middle. Okay. Now I have this. Then I take a dark bead and I go through this turquoise here. Then I'm going to go through one of those dark beads here. Taking one more time the familiar sequence without dark beads before this. Okay, this is what I have. Then I go through those beads here and also through the turquoise after that. And I have this and then I go through the last dark bead here. Okay, and I take it, I slide it down and I go like this. And then like this. Okay. Then in my next step, guys, I'm going to make a knot and cut my thread. And how I'm making a knot, first I want to make a loop. Okay, this is my loop. And I want to go once. And then second time through this loop I just made and I'm pulling and then I go in this direction and 
point I'm cutting my thread. And now guys my beaded feather earring is ready. Okay guys and now my beaded feathers earrings are ready. When I use monofilament they move like a life and I love this effect. But if you don't like it you could use softer thread like let's say fire line. If you're new here consider subscribing with the bell in this way you will know when I post new tutorials usually twice a week. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support. Check description for useful resources and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check in description and at the join button. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.